Hi there, Hillary here for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Today is the day, and by that I mean today is the day that I'm going to be moving around fish and corals from my existing tanks into my new Red Sea tank. But before I get started, let me tell you a little bit about my other tanks. It's been a while since I've talked about them, so give you a little bit of a refresher, that way you know where everybody is coming from. So first comes first, um, I've already moved the yellow tang into here but in the same tank that the yellow tang was in, that was the 75 gallon Fowler tank I had, I also have a Melanaris Ras who I will be moving in here as well. Now, once the 75 gallon tank gets freed up, I will be able to uh, break down my temporary tank that was housing my large hermit crab and he'll get to go back into the 75 gallon. Now, this is where I run into a little bit of a dilemma. I'm not sure what to do because in with the large hermit crab, I also have a pair of clownfish. Now I'm debating, do I just go ahead and leave them with the hermit crab in the 75 gallon or do I put them in the new tank? Now you might be saying, why wouldn't you go ahead and put them in the new tank? And the reason for that is because in my old coral reef tank, I also had a clownfish. Um, I've had that clownfish almost since the very beginning of keeping my saltwater tanks. And I kind of feel like if anybody's gonna get an upgrade, it should be the fish that has been around for the longest. The only thing is that the existing clownfish lost its mate a couple years back, so she is now by herself. So do you think I should go ahead and find another Picasso clown and put the oldest clown in the tank or should I go ahead and move the pair of them in this tank? All right, now in addition to the clownfish that is in the old reef tank, I also have a damsel that will be going into this new system and I have a yellow watchman goby that will be going into the new system as well. Now in the past that watchman goby used to have a pistol shrimp that it paired up with. Um, it no longer has that pistol shrimp so Again, that's one of the things I'm gonna be adding and looking for to add to the new tank so that I can see that symbiotic relationship because I think they're just a lot of fun to watch. Now that takes care of all of the fish that I have to shuffle and move around, but what about the corals? Well, when I moved, I used to have a thriving little 20 gallon reef tank. It was amazing, however, during the move and over the course of the last year, it's gone through a lot and unfortunately not that many of the original corals are still around, but there are a few. So one of the ones that's not gonna go into the reef tank is some mushrooms. I have some gorgeous mushrooms that are really pretty, but in the past, they were phenomenal at taking over the tank. I only had one to start with, and then towards the end, I had a whole tank full that were out competing other corals. So that's actually gonna get put into the 75 gallon tank with the hermit crab, because I'm not really worried about it. Um, if he messes with them or eats them, not that big of a deal. I just don't want them being put in this new tank and taking over. Now, another coral that I have in the old reef tank is a Acan or Lord Howensis coral. It was one of my original corals and I'm happy to say that it's still alive, but it's hanging on barely just by a thread. That being said, um, in its stress in not being in the right environment, it actually spawned while it was in the temporary tank. So I will be able to put not one, but two different uh, unique ones of that coral in the new tank. Another one of the corals that was the existing from my original reef tank is a chalice. It is actually thriving and doing really well. It's grown significantly since I moved and since I put it in there. So that's good to see and it will go ahead and get moved into the new tank. Last but not least, the other coral that's gonna go in there is the new daisy coral that Sophia gifted me at Reef of Palooza, New York. So it'll go in here as well. Now, I'm not actually going to be breaking down the reef tank. If you recall, towards the very beginning of the series, I was talking about when I moved, how several of my tanks broke. And believe it or not, the tank that I've got running with the corals in it is one of the tanks that actually broke. But I needed a place for those corals better than a 
cooler that I was using. So I set the tank back up in a Tupperware container and it's still going strong. Knock on wood, it hasn't broken. So I'm gonna leave that up as a quarantine tank because these aren't the only fish that I'm gonna be putting in this system. I wanna have a good deal more fish, but a lesson that I've learned over the years just from stuff I've experienced and seen firsthand is I would never put a fish in my main display without putting it through quarantine first. So the 20 gallon is gonna stay set up as a quarantine tank. That way um, I know it's already cycled and ready to go. It's got some of that live rock in there. And that's another reason why I have to move those mushroom corals out and put them in the Fowler tank. They can't stay in the uh, little reef because if I have to medicate, that's probably going to kill them. So one last thing before I start to move fish is to let you know a little bit of the stuff that I did before I started filming. Now, obviously the fish and corals that are going to be moving in here are from tanks that I have at home. They've already gone through quarantine. They're good to go. But I did go ahead and test all of the water parameters to make sure that as I'm moving fish and corals into the new tank, that it is as close of a match as it possibly can be. So I've already gone ahead and done all that. If you were thinking about moving fish and corals um, in your tanks at home, make sure that you test those water parameters, but let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and start moving fish. Okay, I've got my towel. I've got some five gallon buckets because I suspect I will have to take the rock work out just to get to the rass. And I also have some small Tupperware containers, kind of like you would get lunch meat in. Um, I like to use those as opposed to nets for catching the fish. Um, not only is it less stressful, um, it gives them a little bit more space and it comes with a lid so that once I get them in there, I don't have to risk them jumping out. Now, something else I do with these is if I know I'm gonna catch fish, um, especially the wrasse who's a little bit skittish, um, I usually will put my container in the tank. That way I don't just like drop a container in the tank and they get freaked out. Um, so they'll get used to it for a little while. Hopefully they won't run, but I suspect this is not going to be easy. I've got my wrath in the container. I've got this lid on so he can't jump out. Let's go ahead and get him moved into the new tank. Okay, now that I've got everybody moved into their new home, I'm gonna shut off all of these lights, dim the tank lights down a little bit, and spend some time observing them from a distance, letting them get used to their new tank. And we'll stop back in later this afternoon and go ahead and feed them. Usually when I feed fish after they've moved to a new tank, um, when I see them eating, I consider that a sign that they feel safe and secure in their new environment, and watching them eat is always a good thing. All right, I just wanna say thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me, um, letting me tell you about my fish and my fish tanks and watching me move everybody into this new tank. It's something I thoroughly enjoy, and this in particular has been a long time coming. Now I gotta say, these aren't the only fish and coral that are gonna be going into this tank. I mentioned earlier that I've got a tank set up for quarantine, so stay tuned for future videos where I add more fish and more coral to this tank. Okay, this has been Hillary for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.